I'm fine. I'm fine. Right, so let's start with the with the sentences that you were supposed to make, right? Uh, Matt, good evening. Hey, good evening. How are you? Fine, fine. You? Trey, thank you. Uh, all right. So Max, uh, give me your your sentence using uh, a lot of. Okay, teacher. He needs a lot of water to fill the bucket. He needs a lot of what? To fill the bucket. To feed. To fill, 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 llenar. Ah, to fill. Fill the bucket. The bucket. All right. Bucket B U C K E T, right? Yes, teacher. Okay. So he needs a lot of water to fill the bucket. So in this case, we're talking about uh Uncountable noun, but remember that we can use a lot of with countable and uncountable, right? Okay, Gabby, um, can you please give me uh, an example using some? What do you have? Do you have a sentence or a question, Gabby? A sentence. A sentence. Okay. Sorry, Nos vemos. We I would like some cake. I would like some cake. I would like some cake. Some cake. Cake. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I would like some cake. Hola, Gaby. Buenas noches. So re remember that some can be used for. Uh, cannibal and uncannibal nouns. Okay, uh, you can use you can use some for questions, but if you are offering or if you are requesting, okay. Boris, tell me. Give an example sentence using a few. A few. Ahorita digo. A few, a, few. a few there are few possible solutions okay you can count the solutions right so there are a few possible solutions solutions okay there are a few Kevin, can we use a few uh, in questions? Can we use a few questions? Kevin? A few, a few yeah. minutes. Can we use a few in questions? No. Not really. Right? You cannot use a few. So only some. Okay. Only and, some. Okay. And or any. Right? Yeah. Okay. Good evening. Hey, good evening, Lil. How are you? Marvin, can you please give me your example using 
uh, many. You said many. Mm. Many. Yes. Mm. Are there many cats in my house? In, in my house? Are there what? Are there many cats in my house? Okay. Good job. Are there many cats in my house? Mm -hmm. Ever, can you use uh, many with a uncountable nouns? No. Not really. Okay. You cannot. Right. You cannot. Um, give me your example sentence in uh, any using any um sorry teacher <laughs> no la is you didn't do it okay not a problem lil can you help me out do you have an example using any? One moment. Okay. Um, are there any orange? Are there any? Any orange or oranges? Oranges. Yes, because you're using are. And yes. are and are there is used for plural nouns. So yes. Are there any oranges? Mm -hmm. Or oh, do you do you have any idea? <laughs> do you have okay, that's another question. Uh, do you have any idea? Mm -hmm. All right, good. Is idea countable or uncountable noun? No. Uncountable. It's uncountable. Uncountable? Infinite. Okay. But do you have do you have a plural form for idea? Yeah, ideas. Okay, all right. If you have a plural form, it means that the noun is cannibal. Mm. Okay, so idea is cannibal, guys. Okay. One idea, two ideas, three ideas, right? Okay, we have a plural form. But. How many ideas do you have on your brain? Which I don't know. <laughs> okay, yes, but it, we have a plural form. It's the same as, for example, start. Start. Yeah? Start. Is the word start countable or uncountable? It's, it's countable because he says a plural, it starts. Yes, yes but technically ever, technically it's very difficult to count the stars. Ah, uh, it's not. Okay, but we it's have- In accord with the Bible, it's uncountable. Yes. So, but we have a plural form. A lot of stars. Cannibal. Mm -hmm. So keep that in mind, right? If if the noun has a plural form, so it's taken as cannibal noun. However, it's technically a impossible to be counted 
All right. How are you, Thomas? Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine. Okay. Uh, Oscar, did you do uh, did you do the homework? Oscar Maya? Yes, teacher. Okay. Can you please give me an example? An example using much. Much. Yes, using much. Uh, how much time, sorry, how much time do you have for lunch? How much time, yes. How much time, we can use much for questions, right? How much time do you have for lunch? For lunch, okay? Good, thank you. Um, can you please... Uh, you freeze the teacher. Se freeze la pantalla, teacher. Really? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Problema con el sonido no muy bien. Now? Ooh, I'm back. <laughs> what about now? Ya regresé, right? Yes. Still frozen. No, no. Okay. All right. Uh, all right, guys. So uh, let's see a little. What about a little? Um, Tanya, do you have a, an example using a little? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, she is a little tighter. Okay, do you have it? Okay, that, that, that sentence is correct. But the thing is that um, a little in that case is not a, it's not a quantifier. You're using an adjective. Tire is an adjective. So can you please give me a sentence in which you use a little bit followed by a noun, not but an adjective. <clears throat> Kevin? <No. laughs> um, Max? Yes, teacher. Okay, give me, can you give me your example using a little? Okay. Uh, give him a little water. Sorry, repeat. Give him a little water. Give him. Give him. Give him a little water. Water. Okay. Give him a little water. Your sentence, Tanya, is correct. If you say, I'm a little tired, okay, that's perfect. But tired is not a noun. Tired is an adjective. And we are working with nouns, with countable and uncountable nouns. But your sentence is correct, Tanya. All right? Okay, teacher. Okay. Uh, let's see. Who has... A question using some. Gabby, do you have a question using some? No, teacher. No. I have. Okay. One. What are you listening to, Gabby? Pretty dear, Gabby. Oh my God. <laughs> 
Okay, Penyate, give me your give me your question. question. Yeah, using some. Do you want some beer before a start party? Of course. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Do you want some beer before the party? Before the party starts? Okay. That is the question. Do you want some beer before the party starts? Okay. So, uh, I think we're done, guys, right? We use all of the quantifiers. Uh, my recommendation, if you feel this topic a little bit, a little bit confusing, my recommendation is, uh, is to memorize the information I gave you yesterday. Memorize that information because you have everything right there. All right? So yesterday, um, so yesterday we worked on the worksheet that uh, I have on Schoology, and we went over uh, the exercise. Well, from one to fourteen, right? So today we're going to uh, work on number fifteen. From number fifteen to number 31 but to start i'm going to give you i'm going to give you uh, some help okay tanya look at my screen Yes, teacher. Number 15. We have many, few, or little money. We have... Little. Look at this. I can't buy anything. I can buy anything in this shop shop in uh, in this game no es money no es del dinero que estamos hablando yes of course so this is a incunable it's incunable so it's little right that is the correct one we have little money okay i can buy anything in this shop okay kevin what about 16 you use a little sugar in your coffee. It, it isn't healthy for you. You use a little. Yeah. You use a little sugar in your coffee. It isn't healthy for you. Hmm. Yeah, no, it's much. Okay, according to the context, according to the con look, it isn't healthy for you. So, according to the context, no, yes. what is it? It isn't healthy for you. You use much sugar or some sugar. Much. You use much sugar in your coffee. It isn't healthy for you. Okay. What about number 17? 17. Gabby?
a little. She ate. Mm. Mm. A few, a few, a few. Wait. Mm. Ate a few or a little or a lot. Try to analyze the context. Ah. Yes. Ella con, ella, after, uh, a lot. <laughs> Todas las opciones le di. <laughs> A lot, teacher. Okay, a lot. A lot. Guys, she let's go back to number 16. What is the answer right here? Much or or a little? Much. Why? Because... A little. Oh. A little, teacher. A little. Said, guys. It says. Eh. Eso es malo. It isn't. It isn't healthy for you. It isn't healthy for you. It's not healthy for you. So if something is not healthy for you, you can grab a lot. So in this case, am I taking much or a little? Así como lo confundiste, es a little. <laughs> <laughs> Pero si es negativo al final. O sea, si no es bueno, es much. <laughs> no sé. Es que esa, esa oración no tiene sentido también. Why? ¿Cómo vas a decir de que no es malo eso? O sea, te vas a referir a algo que sea malo, ¿no? Pero es que le está diciendo que le está poniendo mucha azúcar a su café. No, es que eso entendimos primero. Pero el irisen está diciendo que no es malo. Tiene razón el teacher. <risa> pero por eso le digo, porque ¿por qué va haciendo oraciones así? If you, if you, yeah, of course, if you, if you put a lot of sugar in your coffee, that might be dangerous, healthy, all right? But the sentence right here is telling you that it's healthy. But, I mean, according to the context, the correct answer is a little. However, the, the sentence is a little bit ambiguous. I mean, it's not that appropriate. The meaning, right, the context. Si nosotros hubiéramos hecho una oración así, no la hubieras corregido, pero... Entonces, di la correcta. So, and remember, guys, that we don't use much for affirmative. We don't use much for affirmative. We're talking about sugar. Sugar is uncountable. So, we don't, we don't use much for affirmative things. In this case, we use a lot, a lot of. Mm -hmm. But we don't have that option. In this sentence, no. Uh huh. Okay, so it's a little, right? <laughs> any more? <laughs> okay, you don't have any other option. <laughs> okay, uh, Max, what about 18? Is many. Yes, 18. Is many, teacher. Okay. There are many Western people who can speak Chinese. Mm, okay. We can use many for negative, right? For negative sentences. Right? Okay, Boris. 19. He's uh, a little. There were... Mm, but people. People is cannibal. People, look, people. 
Okay. We can use much for carnivals. Much for carnivals. Can use. Oh, we can. Uh huh. It's a uh, a few. There were a few people in the queue, so we left. So we left. We left. What is the context telling you? So we left. Al final se fueron. So what happened? Why? What is? It's a money. It's a money. Many. Many. Okay, there were many people in the queue. What is queue? I don't know. You guys? Q. Is line. Q is line. The train or something like that. Mm -hmm. Like for example. I'm waiting for something, right? Yes. When you, when you go to the bank, for example, you need to line up right so you are in a queue so queue is line so there were many people in the queue so we decided to leave okay because these people didn't want to wait all right ever 20 A little. There is a little milk for the children to drink. Yes. A for me, it's a little. A little. Okay. Yes, you cannot use mm -hmm. many because many is used with carnival now. So, but a little is used with uncannable. Milk is uncannable. All right, bodies. Would you like much? Would you like? Ah, uh, like much. Much, but biscuits are cannibal. We don't use much with cannibals. And you are offering. So, what is the correct one? Would you like? Some. Mm -hmm. Remember, some, this is some for questions. When you offer and when you request, would you, would you like some biscuits? Biscuits, all right? Yes. Thomas, 21. London has. London has a, a lot of beautiful buildings. London has a lot of beautiful buildings. Okay. Good. 23, Oscar Amaya. Many is many. Mm. Many, can we use many with negative? Yes, you can use many with negative, but with carnival nouns, so plural nouns. Look at this. What do you have? You have orange juice. Is this plural or singular? Singular. Okay, so, which is the correct quantifier? Any. Exactly. I don't have any orange juice, any orange juice. 
24. Calvin. Calvin. Yes, teacher. Okay. How you go? Um, Some. A face money. A few money. It's money carnival or uncarnival? Guys, please analyze. A mm. uh, song. How do you go to a song? Okay, if you use money, song, my question is are you offering or requesting? Mm. Are you offering or requesting? I don't know, remember. Teacher. <laughs> oh, okay. How do you any? Marvin, can you please help me out? Have you got? Uh, yeah, I have you got some money. Okay, Marvin, are you requesting or offering money? Offering. You're offering money? I don't know. Uh, uh, what is got? Okay. Have you got? Have you got is the same as? Do you have? Have you got is the same as do you have? So, are you offering or requesting? Is is requesting? Requesting? It's information. You're not requesting. You're not offering. You only want to know if the other person has some money. So, what is the correct quantifier in this case? So. Hmm? Any, podría ser. Any. Any. Remember that you get some for questions when you are offering or requested. So, have you got any money? Yes. Question. Yes. A few, much, or a little? A little. Mm -hmm. A little. Okay. 25, Lil. <clears throat> Lil. He only spends um a few dollars three. He only spent a few dollars there. Okay. Good. Twenty six, Thomas. Uh, any friends are coming over tonight? Any. Is this a question, Thomas? No. No. No? No. Some is for a question. But is this a question? No, 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 es una pregunta, okay. teacher. So, <clears throat> what is the correct uh, quantifier? Uh, 
You cannot use Hello? any. You cannot use any because any is used for questions or negative sentences, right? And this is not a question and this is not a negative sentence. All right. Okay. Any, okay, is discard. A, a lot, a lot, friends. Mm, the expression is a lot of. Something is missing right here. So it cannot be a lot because you don't have the preposition of is missing. So some, we can use some for questions and positive sentences. And we can use some for countable and uncountable nouns. So this is the correct one. Some friends are coming over tonight. Okay. Tanya, try 27. Okay, um, I have a few. A, a few? I have, I have a, a few beautiful dogs. Beautiful dogs. Okay, Peñate, 28. Tom has a little money left. Then he has. Okay. What did you say? Any, any, or a little. Mm. But any is used in questions and negative. Yes. In negative forms. Is this a negative? Is this a negative form? You can know. You can know this the. Sentence is affirmative or negative. Tom has. Or you, you can. To me, it's positive. It's not negative. You don't have the word not. So Tom has. And we have money. A little. Okay. A little. Tom has a little money left, okay? Gabby, 29. Sometimes. They've already been to Spain sometimes. Can you say many times? Can you say many times? Mm. Why not, Max? Mm, because times is a uh, uh, countable. Times, in this case, times countable. Is countable. Okay, so you can say many as well. Yes. You can say many or not? No, no, not because it's affirmative. Because it's affirmative. Yes. Mm, okay. They've already been to Spain sometimes. Okay. But it all depends on the context as well. Yes, if you want to say that you've been to Spain a lot of times, so you can say many times. But in this case, if you say many times, it, it's like you are emphasizing that uh, it has been something something uh, negative and probably that's what you're bored. But it all depends on the context. But in this case, according to the rule, okay, I don't want you to get frustrated or confused, okay? 
uh, in this case, it's some guys. Okay, all right. I better be quiet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see, Oscar Maya. <laughs> there will be. <laughs> there will be rain. Rain is not carnival. A few. But a few is used with carnival nouns. Ah, okay. Wow, wow, wow. And rain is uncarnival. And any is used in questions in negative forms. A, a little. A little. A little, yes. Okay. And Thomas, I see your face. You, you want to participate, right? Okay, 31. Thomas, 31. There is not any butter in the fridge. 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 Yes. There isn't any butter in the fridge. Okay. All right, guys. So, confusing. <laughs> confusing? No. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Can you think of the exam? What? Can you think of the exam using the quantifiers in the exam? No, I got exam. <laughs> All right. Don't get frustrated, guys. It's about practice. And it's it's all about analyzing. But don't get frustrated. You can do it. The chair. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, what does meaning afterwards? After that. Mm. Afterwards means after that. Okay. Okay, guys, I want to go to Schoology. Hey, very few people today. What happened? 13. Well, 12. Why? Okay. Uh, please go to, go to Schoology and we are going to work on an activity that I have right there, okay? I'm going to create pairs, pairs. One person is gonna be a student A and the other person is gonna be a student B, okay? So go to Schoology, click on week number four and then click on extra practice. Let me know when you're in. Are you in? Are you in? Uh, in extra practice. Yeah, click on extra practice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, if you have, if you, if you see, I have uh, two. PDF file. Okay, I have uh, how many and how much a student A, and I have how many and how much a student B, right? Both about athletes. Okay. So don't open the files, but keep the, the tab open. 
all right? But don't open the files yet. I'm going to create uh, the groups, well, the pairs. But let me explain. What you're gonna do is this. Let me share my screen. What you're gonna do is this. For example, I'm going to open a, a student A. Okay, so you have different, uh, you have different uh, athletes uh, information, okay? So for example, I have one, two, three, four. Okay, four, four pieces of information about different athletes, okay. Um, so the instruction says, write how many or how much questions to find out the missing information. To find out the missing information. You're not gonna work on the, on the paragraph. You're going to write down the questions. Okay, you're going to write down the questions. Uh, for example, Christine is a tennis player from France. She lives near Paris. She trains for five hours every day. Okay? She drinks, but you have right here orange juice. So you're going to make the first question. Orange juice is conable or unconable? Unconable. Unconable. So you're gonna use how much or how many? How much? Okay, so you're going to write down the first question. How much orange juice does Kristen drink a day? Okay? Don't write down anything on the paragraph. You're going to make the questions. Because a student, a student B in this case has the information that I need to complete my paragraph. Okay, so let's continue reading. Uh, and eats 20 apples a week. She's very rich and has, okay, what might be the question? Dollars, is conable or unconable? Conable. Conable. So you're going to use how much or how many? How many? How much? Okay, in this case, you have two forms. You can say how much because we're talking about money. So how much money does she have in the bank? Or you can say, if you want to follow, if you want to follow the, the noun that we have right here, so how many dollars does she have in the bank? All right? So let's 
let's continue reading. There are three tennis courts and swimming pools in her garden. Okay, swimming pools are countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Uncountable. Swimming pools. Countable. Countable. Okay. Countable. So you use how many? How many swimming pools? How many swimming pools are in her garden? How many swimming pools are in her garden? Okay, and then you're gonna continue with uh, the second athlete, right? You're not gonna work on the paragraph. You're gonna work on the questions because in order to complete the paragraph, you need to ask these questions to your partner. Okay, so here we go. Mm -hmm. Join, please. Oh, Gabby, so on. Ya. Ya me salí, no estoy en todo. You left. Hola, hola. Estoy teniendo. Ah, qué bien, estás frisado. ¿Cómo? Estás frisado. Frisado. Yes, you are. Hola, hola. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gabi? Yeah. Are you tired, Gabi? <laughs> Are you tired okay, hoy, or sleepy? Hoy es sleepy. <laughs> okay, fue mi lunes y ayer me dormí noche. Mm. Entonces me cuesta arrancar. Eh, student, student, ah, Kevin. Okay. Okay. 
Ah, ah pues. En las horas, ¿cuál se usa? How much or how many? Cuando se refiere a horas. Pero ahí ¿Sí? dice five hours. Es contable. Yes. Creo. Yeah. Yes, course. ¿verdad, teacher? Yes. Entonces sería many. Many. How many? How many hours? How no. many hours? Ah, no, he descargado, pues no lo puedo editar. Ahorita lo How many hours? How many hours? She, she goes. How many hours? In London. Lives in a beautiful house in London with his wife and four children. He trains for. Do you have a question? What's the question? <laughs> he lives in a big oh, house see. in London. Oh, I see. Yeah, Boris. Sí, sí, sí. Estaba poniendo la pantallita aquí para, para ver bien. Lo, he lives in a big aquí. house in London with his wife. And for children, he trains for for, for many hours every day. Hmm? Uh, yes, teacher. Work with Lil. You don't have the file? Yes. Okay. I, I see file. Okay. Entonces, he trained for 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 many. Quiero ver. Teacher, en uh -huh. all is a question. No. Excuse me. All is a question. We put uh, in this case uh, is a question. Que si todas las vamos a que vamos a hacer son son preguntas. Okay. Uh, yes, you're gonna you're gonna make questions only. Then you're going to start. Uh, you're gonna start uh, filling out the paragraphs. But now, uh, you're gonna make the questions only. Make the questions based on the paragraph. Okay. Sería... But you have different versions. How many? How many? Um, does he trains for hours every day? Is correct, teacher. How many? How many or six hours? How many does he does he trains for how many what Lil? You need how many hours? Okay, how many hours does she train? How many hours does she train? How many hours? How many hours does she 
Does he? Oh, does he train? Does he trains every day? Does he train every day? Does he train every day? But you both are working oh. at the same version. Uh -huh. What? You both are working on the same version? <laughs> For the moment, yes, teacher. <laughs> but why you one of you one of you needs to be one of you needs to be a student A and the other person is gonna be a student B. What is this a student B? Yes, aquí tengo la, el, el archivo or, abierto de la Student B. Student A or B? Student B. Ok. El, you live, you are projecting. Yes. Make the questions first. Okay. <clears throat> and what about uh, Christine's questions? The questions for the first athlete. You don't have the questions for the first athlete. Christine has any player for friend. She lives near Paris. She trains for. Mm. Is a uh, how much orange juice does Christine drink day a day? How much? Orange juice does Christine drink? Eh, no, Lil, es que creo que se refiere a que tengo que contestar la, la del párrafo que me tocan a mí. Ah. Y, y esa es que me está diciendo del párrafo. It's true, yes. Que... yes. It's a ah. mistake. Sorry. Entonces, eh, ahorita, aquí la parte que tengo que responder, me dice que ella entrena por... X hora uh -huh. durante el día, esa es la que tengo que hacer en pregunta. Ok. ¿Cómo, cómo es? How many sería? How many hours train? How many hours? Does, does she train every day? How many hours does she train every day? What are you doing, boys? Eh, estoy completando las, las preguntas del Student B. Okay. Just let me check. Lil, eh, Hello. entonces, eh, ¿cómo? ¿Ya terminaste? 
I go for the, the seven question. Seven. Guys, did you finish? You finish. No. No yet. No. No yet. What happened? You're working alone? Eh, con Kelvin, teacher, pero se desconectó. Oh. Okay. Do you have a student A or a student B? A student B. A student A. Oh, a student B. You have a student B. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. I'm I'm going to I'm going to work with you. So you are a student. Okay. I am going to be a student A. Okay, teacher. Okay. Did you finish the first the first uh the first three questions? Uh, yes. Uh, I finished about uh, about uh, Christine and Rose. Okay. So why why don't we do something? Okay, in order to in order to complete the paragraph about Christine um I need some information that you need to give me. All right? Okay, teacher. Can I have some right. that I need to give you? So the first question, mm -hmm. the first question for you is how much orange juice does Christine drink a day? Um, she drinks Two liters of orange juice a day. Two liters. Two liters. Two liters of liters. orange juice. Okay. Of orange juice right. a second. day. Okay, second question. How much okay. money do you have in the bank? Uh, repeat, please, teacher. How much money does she have hear. in the bank? Ah, okay. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, he has five million dollars in the bank. Five million. Five million dollars. Five million dollars. Okay, in the bank. Yeah. Good. Uh, how many swimming pools are in her garden? She has two swimming pools. Okay. In two her garden. Swimming pools. Uh, there are three tennis cars and two swimming pools in her corner. Okay, so uh, if you want, you can ask me some questions and I can give you the answers for Christine. Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, ask me. The first, que the first question is, how many hours a day does she train? Mm, okay, she trains for five hours next. Okay. She trains for five hours. The second question is how many apples a week does she eat? Mm. How many apples? How many apples a week does she eat? Okay. She eats 20 apples a week. Okay. The third question is, how many tennis courts does she have in the garden? In her garden. How many tennis three. courts? She has three tennis courts. Okay. Okay. Did you, did you, okay. Now you have uh, the first paragraph complete. All right. About mm -hmm. green so did you yes, did you make the questions for the second paragraph? No. Okay. D did you make the yes, questions? Yes. You have the questions. Yes. Okay, I yes, don't have the questions. Okay, let me make the questions right quick. Because I don't have okay. the questions. How many hours does he train? 
a day. All right. How many hours does he train a day? Uh, okay. Uh, Max? Yes, teacher. X is countable or uncountable? Uh, sorry? X is countable or uncountable? X. Ah, is countable. Okay, it's all right. Countable, teacher. So, how many eggs does he eat? Does, wait, wait, wait. How many eggs does he, does he eat? Yes. How many eggs does he eat? And the last question. He also drinks uh -huh, of milk a day. So, how much milk? Mm -hmm. How much milk does he drink? Okay, mm -hmm. so let's complete paragraph number two. Max. Okay, teacher, okay, ready? So I'm going to ask you some questions. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, Max, how many hours does he or does Ross train a day? Uh, he trained for six hours every day. Six hours, okay. All right, uh, how many eggs does he eat? Uh, 50. Eggs. 50 or 50? 50 or 15. Uh, I don't know. F I F T 50. 50. Wow. 50. A lot of eggs. Man. 50. Ya no, me confundí, teacher. No, 15 <laughs> o 50. Uh, 50. F I F T Y. F -I -F yes. Jesus Christ. A lot of. <laughs> okay. All right. And how much milk does he drink? Mm, three liters. Three liters. Of milk. A day. Okay, all right. Ask me. Ask me now. Okay, teacher. Uh, the first is how many sons does he have? How many what? How many sons? Sons. Sons. Ah, okay. Or children. The, all right. Uh, children. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. He has four children. Four children. Four. He has four children. Okay. Uh, the second is how many Olympic gold medals does he have? He has five Olympic gold medals. Five. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the third question is how much meat a week does he eat? How much what? Repeat. How much meat, meat, meat. a week, okay. meat? Okay, all right. He, he eats 10 kilograms of meat. 10? 10. 10 kilograms of meat. Okay. 10 kilograms. Okay. Do you have the question, Max, for the third method? No. Uh, only the first question. Okay, why? Okay, I'm going to give you some time so you can make uh, the, the rest of the questions. Ah, okay, okay. okay. All right. Did you finish? Um, no, teacher. Okay, are you making only the questions or you are filling out the paragraphs as well? Uh, both. Okay, the questions in paragraph. Yes, pero solo llamamos al párrafo dos. Okay, all right. It's okay. Okay, oh, all right. All right, but please don't don't give don't give your partner the answers, okay? Because the purpose is that you ask the questions, that you speak with one another. Teacher. Huh? Eh, Puede revisarnos la primera de, 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 de Little, Little B, solo yeah, para yeah. revisar su uh -huh. sure. eh, Yo le he puesto 
How many hours go in the trains every day? How many hours? Go. In the trains every day. In the train. ¿Cuánto tiempo? Mm -hmm. ¿Cuánto tiempo? ¿Cuánto tiempo viaja en el tren todos los días? Is that the question? Uh -huh. <laughs> Hi. Sure. ¿Verdad que le falta el chi? Ok, pero es que yo creo que, están agarrando, creo que ustedes están agarrando mal la información. Ajá. Ok, están trabajando, ¿cuál es, a dónde está esa pregunta, eh, Amaya? En la, en la, en la ok, voy a proyectar la, ahorita, voy a proyectar ahorita el, el Student B. Uh -huh. Para que lo vean. Aquí quiero compartir para que, para que me quede claro. Okay, I'm going to project the student B. Okay. Okay, uh, which is the paragraph you're working on? The first one or the second one? Uh, the first. The first one. Yes. But can you see my screen? Mm, yes, teacher. Okay. All right, so what is the question you're asking, Oscar? How what many hours? How many hours? Uh, okay, how many, okay, look at this. Christine is a tennis player from France. She lives near Paris. She trains for, but I don't, I, I don't know, right? Okay, so how many hours does okay. she train? Does she train? Mm -hmm. Every day. Well, I uh, finish. Uh, yeah, finish. you can you can say every day. Okay. Is does she? Mm. <laughs> no faltó formular la tercera las preguntas para tercera persona. Ah. Okay. Does she? Uh huh. Does she? Okay. And the second question, guys. Uh, she drinks two liters of orange juice a day and eats apples, but I don't know how many apples she eats. So how many? How many apples? How many apples does, does she, she eat? Uh, does she eat? Ah, que fast. <laughs> okay. okay. Wait, no. Oh? Sure. No. Sorry? A week? No, no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, Yes, that, that's correct. If you want to add, yeah, not a problem. A week. Okay. Yeah, no, que si, teach. Yeah, I mean, it's not a Okay, and there are tennis courts. Okay, so okay. how many? Apples does she Tennis courts. A week. How many tennis courts? In are, her garden. Are in her garden. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Okay, teacher. Espera, <laughs> teacher. No voy a quitar. Okay. Thank you. No creo que le vamos a tomar foto. Okay, teacher. All right. Mañana nos la va a preguntar. Eh, no. Mm -hmm. Because of the time, mate. Y el jueves podemos hacer un repaso de lo que va a venir en el examen. Excuse me, Amaya, what did you say? Eh, el jueves podríamos hacer un, un tiempo para hacer un repaso para el examen del viernes. Ya, yeah. sure. Uh -huh. Sí, por lo menos unos 20 minutos, digo. <risa> yes, no hay problema. Estamos bien perdidos. <risa> no, really. Mentira, yeah. teacher. <risa> Este último tema ha estado demasiado. Ah, recurso, eh, mandaron un correo ahora con, consultando de quiénes iban a seguir en el, en el curso. No sé si les cayó, te cayó también. Sí, a mí también me cayó. Mm, ok. Thank you. Sería. Hey, did you finish? Eh, Ajá. Four children. Cuatro. Four children. Ajá. Okay. 
¿Tiene fe? No, estamos atrasados. No, teacher, estamos atrasados. Es que me tocó llenar, entregar unos vales, teacher. Oh. Vale ahí. Ya ves que trabajando, sí, se nos complica aquí. It's difficult, right? Ok. Eh, eh, teacher. Tell me. Estamos ahí siempre con el tema de las preguntas. Este, digamos, ahorita estábamos ahí. Eh, eh, how many children does, does he has? Mm. He have. He have. He have. How Peter. many children does he have? He have. Mm -hmm. Siempre. He have. No, pero no tengo que ponerle dos. Yes, of oh, course. Sí. Yes. Dos. 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 He have. Does he mm -hmm. have. Okay, guys, but let's go back to the main session, right? I'm gonna check what you have, and if you haven't finished, don't worry, right? Don't worry, we're gonna work later or tomorrow, right? Okay. Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Oh, okay. Did you finish, guys? Yes. Peñate? Only the questions. Only the questions, okay. All right, I mean, we, we, can, we can go over uh, the answers for tomorrow, okay? But at least, uh, it's really important that you have the questions, right? Marvin, did you finish? No, only the questions. Only the questions, okay. Gabby, do you have the questions? All the questions? Yes, okay. Lil, do you have all the questions? Yes, teacher. Okay. And Boris, what about you? Question, question. Only the only question. question. Okay. So tomorrow we are going to check the questions and we are going to go over the answers, okay? So uh, let's go over the attendance. Bien poquito se conectaron ahora. El viernes lo va a tener a todos. ¿Ah? una pregunta? Uh -huh. Para el siguiente módulo, si no estamos los, los 18, como dice, en el mínimo del curso, uh -huh. eh, van a agregar a otros o, o así con los que queden. No, vamos a agregar a otros, pero ya, ya estamos en eso. Don't worry. <risa> Don't worry. Don't worry, be happy. Don't worry. Tiene, ah, tiene más clientes, Jonathan. O tal vez nos movían a nosotros, ¿no? Por si nos iban a mover a nosotros a otro grupo. No, 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 no. Tienes uh, más. We are going to, we are, we are going to include more people. But don't worry, right? Okay. Oscar Amaya. Present, teacher. Ever missing Tania present Giovanni present teacher. Okay, uh, Oscar Gonzalez present Edgar missing uh, Gabby present. Thomas? Present. Gil? Present. Okay. Kevin? Present. Max? Present. Okay. Jonathan? Missing. Andrea? Missing. 
se conectó Andrea. No, right? Eh, Calvin. Calvin. Missing. Eh, uh, Gabriel, missing. Boris. Present. And Marvin Tuniga. Present teacher. Wow. I have very few students today. Okay. All right, guys. So, eh, are you okay? Or you are tired? Or you are frustrated? You don't like the topic? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> A lot of confusion. Yes. Y en el examen. No, por favor. Ay, sí, no, 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 no. Pero, ¿saben lo que pasa? Lo que pasa es que ustedes no estudian. ¿Vale? Okay. ¿Qué dice usted? ¿Por qué dice eso? Sabe, sabe. La información, la información que yo les doy 